everyone and welcome back to my studio if you follow my doll transformations at least sometimes here on my youtube channel then you know it already probably that i've been looking for some sort of a material for some special i don't know clay or something like this that i would be able to stick to, to the surface of the soft rubber doll heads because our regular kinds of clay like for example our favorite and legendary epoxy sculpt or just like some regular white air dry clay or some more soft you know more like flexible kinds of clay like silk clay all these kinds of clay they don't stick to these kinds of rubber surfaces because for example if i build something around this face using an epoxy sculpt i will let it dry for 24 hours then i will squeeze this head a couple of times and all this clay will just fall off it's going to peel off from the surface so i've been busy already probably for two years trying different things and it seems i have found something special something that is going to work and this is such a special kind of a thermoplastic it's also from the warbler family but it has a little bit a longer name it's something like warbler cobra cast something like this i will write the, the, the correct name of this material somewhere here on the screen and yes this is the same kind of a thermoplastic like warbler so if you warm it up with some hair dryer for example it's going to become very soft and after you let it dry so you can i don't know sculpt whatever you want and after you let it dry it's going to become the same hard plastic again but to this special kind of thermoplastic they have also added a lot of glue and that's why this kind of warbler is going to stick to approximately everything i've tried it already here a little bit on this doll's face and it works guys so today we're going to test this beautiful new material because i feel very hopeful honestly because i think that if this material really works then it will probably open i don't know completely new horizons in my doll artist career but of course first of all we're going to test it we're going to see how it all works because there can always be some surprises so and to test this kind of a thermoplastic i've decided to make a real legend of a media world you know i'm not going to make a real person i'm going to make a cartoon character but anyway you have seen already the thumbnail and you know it already perfectly that today we're going to turn the monster high doll into march simpson i don't know i'm so excited about this transformation so i really can't wait to start for this project I've decided to take this Monster High doll, but actually it doesn't really matter which one to use. I could take absolutely any doll today, but I just wanted to test if I could fill in with this new thermoplastic the hole from her tail on the back and also the holes from the ears on her head. It might be useful for the future. So let's see where we will end up today. And right now I'm going to remove this doll's outfit and then I will also cut her hair as short as I can because I must have an empty canvas before I start working. After this I warm up the head with my hair dryer to make the rubber and the glue inside of the head soft. And after this I can disconnect the head from the body and then I will pull out the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. And now I'm 
going to do some risky job. I'm going to take my exacto knife and I will cut this doll's ears off. And this is really like always guys, when I'm going to test if you can use this new sticky material to cover up the holes left after cutting off those ears, you get a unique one of a kind doll that has no holes or almost no holes and there is really not much to cover up. The next step is also not for kids. I'm going to take this very toxic and extremely dangerous acetone and I will remove this doll's original face. And there is absolutely no way back after we will do it. I'm going to start the transformation with sketching the main features of March face on this doll's face using a permanent marker. And then I will take some pieces of this new sticky warbler and let's see what we can do. Is it even possible to turn this girl into a strange looking cartoon character?
and it looks pretty cool I think after a couple of hours of working. I've had some issues with the texture of the surface, I've started spraying it already with a primer and with yellow paint to see how it's all gonna look, but anyway you still can see this texture, so I've decided to stop all the spraying and I'm going to sand now the surface really nicely with the Dremel tool. And after this I can paint it again, first with a white primer and then with yellow acrylics on top of it. So this is how it looks after all these layers of paint. Now I think I should prime the face still with my favorite Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I will still add some shadows and highlights using soft pastels. You know, not to make this face very realistic, of course not, but I just want to add some, you know, like extra dimensions to all these round shapes. Now let's also cover the eyes with a couple of layers of white acrylics. And then I'm going to add black outline using black acrylic paint. After this I've sprayed it again with Mr. Super Clear and now I'm going to add grey shadows to the white of her eyes.
Oh, and I've also forgotten to add some outlining to the ears, but anyway, it's never too late to do it. Okay, now let's also blush the body with pastels and that will make her iconic blue hair. To make her hair, I'm going to use this blue yarn and I've used already bigger half of it to make a giant sock outfit for my mini Simply Nylogical doll. By the way, if you haven't watched this video yet, I will let the link here somewhere in the description because it was really a fun video, I think. But anyway, right now I'm going to turn this yarn into March hair. And first of all, I'm going to cut the yarn into shorter pieces to tie them around barbecue sticks and then I'm going to make this yarn loose. After this I normally brush the yarn and I make it straight with some flat iron. But today I'm going to skip all these steps probably because these curls they look already perfectly like March curls. So I think I can already glue this yarn to make the wefts. Then I'm making a wig for her using my glue gun. Now I still want to shape her hair a little bit better and for this I wrap it into plastic and I let it sit like this for some hours. And meanwhile I can make a dress for our doll.
And after this, I still want to customize slightly this pair of shoes. So now let's remove all this plastic and see how her hair looks. Yes, I think it looks pretty cool. So I think we can remove all this protection, trim the edges of the wig, and after this I will be able to put everything together. So, and here is my doll version of legendary Marge Simpson. I honestly think it's one of my coolest transformations on this channel. I don't really know why, it just looks so much fun. And I'm also very happy I have found a very strong material that sticks to rubber doll faces. I really think it can open a completely new chapter in my career. Imagine what I could do with something like this. Just approximately everything I could do with something like this. So, this is for sure not the last time you see this sticky thermoplastic on my channel. And if you suddenly know some more interesting or unusual materials that I maybe should try, please write them down in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something really cool and interesting. Because you know, sometimes discovering a new material can really be a life changing. And I also wanted to ask your advice on making more characters from these like more adult cartoons. I should stay away from children's characters nowadays, you know it already. So who would you like to see from more adult or not adult, but maybe like teenagers films or cartoons? The comments are like always open for all kinds of suggestions. So guys, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday already for three years. So join our doll community and I will see you already very soon, like always, next week Friday. Love you guys. Bye!